All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do math operations in the material editor. All right, so first thing I want to show you, I'm going to press 3 and click, and that's going to get me a constant 3 vector. All right, so now using the RGB or RG and B values, so the red, green, and blue, what we're going to do is uh, if I make that a 1, it's going to be pure red, right? 0 is going to be black again because 0, 0, 0 is going to be black always, right? 1, 1, and 1 is always going to be pure white. And then anything in between is a, just a bunch of different colors, right? So as you saw just a second ago, there's yellow, there's that color. <laughs> um, you get the idea. And if you really want to just instantly figure out what color you want, you can go do a search for RGB color values, click on one of these, it's going to bring you to a big chart, and it's going to show you Here's red, green, and blue values for all these colors. Now the thing is, they do theirs um, on instead of from zero to one, they do theirs from zero to 255. Um, so that's 256 values total if you count zero, right? So you can figure out what any of these values is just by bringing over your calculator here and saying, okay, so this red value is actually 176 divided by 256, and that's going to give you the uh, the value for for the same thing between 0 and 1. All right. <clears throat> okay, so now then, what I want to show you is uh, if we get two of these in here, by I remember I press 3 and click, and say, all right. Uh, let's do it like that. Okay, so blue and, blue and red, and I'm going to press the A button and click to get the add node. I'm going to go ahead and add these together, and it's going to combine those two colors here into that one purplish color. And remember, I can get the exact same color like this. I'm just trying to show you that, um, oops, sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm just trying to show you that uh, the the way you do math on these is exactly, because um, it's, it's adding the red from this one and the blue from this one, right? So, Okay. Now, with that out of the way, I want to show you how to do this with textures, all right? So, let's grab the, uh, uh, let's do the sad face first, because this one isn't going to work. I'm going to show you why this won't work, all right? So, we'll add, what I want to do is add the unhappy face and the angry eyebrows to make it into an angry face, okay? Now, press A and click to get the add node. Let's add those together, and this isn't going to work, and I'll show you why plug that in the diffuse. Look at that. See, it's all washed out, right? That's because what you're actually doing is adding the white to the white. So instead of, okay, remember white is 1, 1, and 1. So now you actually have 2, 2, and 2, right? So that's the first problem. The second problem is you're saying, hey, remember that black color? Well, that's 0, 0, 0 plus the 1, 1, 1. So that, that darker value there is still 1, 1, and 1. So that's real white. And this lighter value is actually 2, 2, 2, which is like overly white, if you know what I mean. Like, because you don't actually want the value to go above 1 and 1 and 1. Um, otherwise, it'll cause troubles later on, and maybe we'll get to that. Um, so I want to show you a better way to do this. Because I really want to see that unhappy face with the angry eyebrows. So, let's get the unhappy face in here, and this is going to be my multiply material. I'll show you why. All right. So here, here are my two, and I'm going to hold the M key and click. Plug that into Diffuse. These two together. And now look, now it's a nice angry face, right? The reason is because you're multiplying. So remember, 1, 1, and 1 up here, right, for where the eyebrows are, times the 0, 0, 0 is going to be 0, 0, 0. Do you see what I mean? So that's why these are going to be 0, right? And then, same, because it goes both ways. Remember, you can multiply either either one first. Uh, so, same here, the white where the face would be is multiplied by 0, 0, 0, which makes it black where the face is, is now, right? Oops. All right. So now then, I'm going to show you the subtract real quick. Yeah, you can see how how those just aren't quite the same because the multiplication works, but the addition kind of messes things up. Alright, 
So now let's do the happy face here. And the eyebrows again. Alright. Now let's go ahead and type in subtract up here. Bring that in. Now this one's going to cause problems too. Alright. So what happened here was the 1, 1, and 1 from up here subtracted the 0. And that's why it's still white because 1, one minus 0 is still going to be 1. But then everywhere else it was the white here. So 1 minus the white here, which is going to be 1 again, so that's 0. So that that kind of caused problems there. Okay, and then also the, uh, the black minus white, which would be negative 1. So that really causes problems. So I'm going to show you a trick here. 1 minus. And what that's going to say is... Alright, so let's go ahead and plug the eyebrows straight in so I can show you here. So, one, 1 minus that value that you plug into the 1 minus. So it's going to be 1 minus 1 for the white is going to bring it down to 0, and then 1 minus the black is going to be 1. See, so it's kind of like inverting it if it's between 0 and 1, which is where it should be. So let's subtract these together. And what you basically did was uh, you said subtract the negative of this. So that one works again. Now we'll do the divide real quick. This one I'm not going to show you much because usually you're not actually going to use it um, because it's really hard to actually use it in a way that's going to be helpful here. So because if you have like this one here and this one and then D and click to get that divide node. This isn't going to, it's not going to do much and it's not going to look very good because you're, you're having crazy amounts divided by other crazy amounts, if you know what I mean. So like I say, you're, you're pretty much never going to use that. Um, I'll try to show you a, a better example here using constant three vectors again. And it's not very happy right now because any number divided by zero is going to break it, right? Okay. Um, so let's make this all 1, 1, and 1. Now you have 0 divided by 1, which is still going to be 0. Or you can make these any number you want. Anything divided by 1 is still going to be itself. So let's make these bigger values here. And now you have like 5, 5, 5 divided by 10, 10, 10. And that's all going to be uh, 0.5s. So, there you go. That's uh, Math in the Material Editor. And I'm going to, right after this, have um, a demonstration of what you can actually do with that. So, Alright, I just wanted to show you one more thing real quick because I forgot to use my blue uh, eyebrows here. So, let's go ahead and uh, go to Multiplication here. And we'll switch these to the blue ones. And it should work without any problem. Because... Remember now, the blue values, which I have right here, all those multiplied by 1, it's still going to be these values, right? Okay, so that's going to work out no problem. Now though, when we go back to our subtraction, remember we subtracted by the inverse of that? It's going to cause problems there, because... 1 minus this blue value isn't going to work the same. It's going to show up to be... Never mind, it worked perfectly. Okay, okay. but if you take a look, though, the 1 minus is going to be this yellow color because it's going to be 1 minus all of these values, right? But then the reason it works is because I forgot. Then it's going to be the 1 from here minus the yellow from here, which is going to turn it back to that blue color, right? Alright, so let's try one more thing here. The uh, addition. And there's all kinds of tricks you can do to get these to work. If I would have... Um, if I would have had the inverses of both of these, like, let's take a look at these uh, 1 minuses again. This would actually work then, because I had to have 1 minus these colors, and then add it to those colors. Do you see what I mean? So it would work, it'd just be the wrong one. But it's still in the in the right range. It's still going to be, uh, it's still going to be between zero and one. So then we can take all of that and do the one minus again, and that's going to be back to the colors we want. 
the only thing is, it's like, why go through all that extra effort when we could have just done the multiplication, you know? Or we could have just done the subtraction, or we could have just done it one way or the other. So, like I say, in a few minutes here, I'll show you, like, a really good example of how you can use all these things in a way that's really going to work well. And uh, so stick around for that. It's going to be kind of more complicated and, and more in-depth and intense, though. So make sure you, you get a good grasp on what's going on here beforehand.